YouTube team, keep it clean, man. We haven't left yet. We just, me and Carter, just been sitting back eating pizza. Well, ma mainly me. He ain't really take a bite when I tried to offer him some. But anyway, YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? I'm gonna introduce myself from the beginning, so I don't even have to get into all the stuff like that. Anyway, me, I'm engraving. This is my YouTube channel, engraving vids. And y'all are part of Team Keep It Clean, man. I appreciate everybody coming through here. Um, we are back again. We just finished live streaming uh, about Ravens, but now we move on to somebody that's a little closer to where we at. Well, we in Miami. The Tampa Bay is about three and a half, four hours away. But anyway, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. What's going on, everybody coming through? I appreciate y'all. Oh, let me finish introducing myself. Me, I'm Engraving Vids. This is my YouTube channel, Engraving Vids. Uh, if you're a Ravens fan, make sure you subscribe, man. Or if you're just a fan of football, period, make sure you subscribe because we will mention your team soon enough. What's up, TJ305? Hey, no problem, Fireballs. Thank you for playing me. Um, make sure you subscribe and turn your notifications on and leave a like on the video, too. Leave a like on the video. Then come say what's up to Carter, who brought his iPad in here. He could start his own live stream. Oh, he just came in here to dance. Anyway. Um, team keep it clean. So, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they got they got criticized uh, a couple years ago when they selected, they got highly criticized when they selected um, Roberto Aguayo from, was he from Florida State? I forgot which school he came from. But either way, they, they were highly criticized when they picked this kicker in the second round. In the second round, they picked him pretty high. Um... And from that preseason, from when he first got selected, um, in the preseason, the, pre the preseason after he was drafted, obviously, he struggled, man. He struggled. They, he had Bucks fans scratch, scratching their head because um, he had just been missing some kicks that were like, give me kicks. Like, if you are, you a are second-round draft pick, uh, you got a lot to live up to. Um, you see Sebastian, Sebastian Janikowski. Well, Sebastian Janikowski, first or second round? Maybe he was first round. I don't remember. But anyway, if you're a kicker and they draft you that high, you have a lot to live up to. A lot to live up to. Um, and he obviously didn't live up to it. And from the beginning of his career and throughout, he struggled with nailing them. Oh, he was a first-round draft pick. Sebastian Janikowski was. Okay, appreciate that, Iron Milk. Um, but he just he hasn't been accurate. He misses a lot of easy kicks. And he just, <laughs> man, I feel for him, man. That's rough. You get released as a kicker. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, what were they thinking? I mean, if he was really good in college and you absolutely didn't really need any other positions and you felt like this guy was just going to get swooped up by somebody in rounds three through seven, uh, I don't know. Uh, if he was a Justin Tucker, then, okay, draft him in the first round. Get this guy the highest. Give this guy the highest amount of guaranteed money a rookie ever had in an NFL career. Um, if he's a Justin Tucker, but if he's not, if he's a Roberto Aguayo, and I don't know, and I ain't, I ain't knocking a dude, I ain't knocking a Bucks man. But yeah, I mean, everything don't always work out, unfortunately. Um, every draft pick is not gonna make it. Ravens know that for sure. With first round picks, second round, all, all rounds one through seven, everybody ain't gonna make it. But in this case, the Bucks kicker, he just he couldn't make the cut. It's a surprising release. It's a very surprising release. Oh, McManus is a nice one too. So yeah, Bucks say, you know what? We're not going to. We're not going to waste any more time. They said, Roberto, we're not going to waste any. Okay, call the answer, man. Okay, you listen to a dinosaur song. But they said, they said, uh, Roberto, we're not going to waste any more of our time, and we're not going to waste any more of your time. So let's move on. Let's move on, and that's exactly what they did. They moved on, so now they're done with him. So that's that's a wrap on his career uh, with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and now he'll be a free agent. He'll be a free agent, and I'm sure he'll he'll get a call from somebody soon enough. It might not be right away. Even it might not even be during the preseason. What's up, amazing highlights? Um, it might not even be during the preseason, but unfortunately, kick, kickers do get hurt too. They do get hurt too. Um, but I'm, I'm sure he'll be fine. He'll find a job. He'll find a job somewhere soon enough. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens with him. Anyway, this is kind of a little shocker right there, man. 
It's, it, it, but at the same time as it being a shocker, it's not really a shocker because the kicking game can make such so much of a difference. So much of a difference. Uh, JT, it takes about two weeks. Um, even though somebody I was talking to last week, he ordered some and he got them a week later. So, but usually for me, it takes two weeks. Justin Tucker raised the stakes for all kickers. He sure did, man. They got a lot to live up to following behind JT, man. Because Justin Tucker is money. Some other kickers are money, too, for the most part. Like Cowboys kick a damn... Whoa, almost fell. Cowboys kick a damn barely. Um, well, what's up, Flock? What, Raven, what's up, Eric? Um, McManus is pretty nice. Um, but, yeah. And with kickers, you just never know. You never know. Look at Ravens with Billy Cundiff. Um, I don't know if he was drafted. I know the Ravens didn't draft him if he was drafted. But either way, with Billy Cundiff, he... If you go back... So when he first came with Ravens, the dude was on point, man. He was on point. They even gave him a nice contract and all because he was on point. Then all of a sudden, he just, his foot got messed up. He just started missing, and he kept missing. And then the worst miss of his career, which um, you felt bad for the guy because he was getting death threats and whatnot, um, was when he missed against the Patriots in that AFC championship game. And it's, it was sad, man. People were like, that's when people just take the game of football too seriously. It's really sad, man. But people were giving them death threats and stuff. Um, saying, oh, yeah, we're going to kill you because you missed a kick. That's like, that's sad, man. That's when people just got to get over it, man. It ain't that serious. Uh, but anyway. Anyway. Uh, yeah, Ravens for Life, appreciate it. I know a lot, a lot of people have been ordering from there. A lot of people have been ordering from Poly Store that are you, man. The link is in the description, too, if you want your jersey, man. This is Jameis Winston, famous Jameis Bucks jersey. Um, and that dude, I, he's going to be good, man. He, I mean, he already is good, man. I like him. I like Jameis Winston a lot, man. But anyway, um, I just had to share that with y'all since it got shared with me and got shared with the world that Roberto is no longer kicking for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Is it a surprise? No. Do I feel bad for him? Yes. Will he get another job? Yes. Will he be fine? Yes. But so are the Bucks. Anyway, um, appreciate you. Yeah, you're right. It is fine to be mad about football, but it's definitely not necessary to give anybody death threats. So, anyway, um, appreciate y'all watching. Thank you. Yo, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you're old here, stay subscribed and make sure you turn the notifications on. It's the little bell right there. It should be right here. Your little bell. Just turn the notifications on and, and leave a like on the video too. I appreciate y'all. If anything else happens today, you might see my face later. Yes, big shout out to Carter and him coming in here and trying to practice for his own stream. But he is watching videos on I don't know what. Pac-Man. Okay, there it goes. Pac-Man is eating footballs? Okay, he ain't want to watch that anymore. Anyway, <laughs> appreciate y'all, man. Thank you. And I'm out, man. We going.